Let's take a look at not only Egyptian artwork, but the other artworks of the Middle East civilizations. Here are the questions that we're interested in thinking about, what you should be gaining from your reading. What was the purpose of the artwork for that society? And that purpose would have led to certain rules that guided or even constrained what was considered good artwork. So how did these things here answer this question, that what is good or bad art? Then what kinds of materials and how were they prepared? You saw in the ancients they used the materials as they occurred, but the Egyptians uh, primarily used materials that they combined or heated or in some ways experimented with and created glazes that offered kind of a delayed reaction when you fired them. Then you found out the kinds of colors that they produced. And what is the status of the people who created the artworks? This almost universally in older societies is totally different than what we think about an artist expressing some emotion or expressing something by creating a work of art. People who created these things in the ancient world were tradespeople. They were craftsmen. They worked with their hands. They were not intellectuals as we might consider an artist to be a poet who works in a different medium than words. That was not the concept in the ancient world. And that's the end of the slides for chapter 2.